Hello everyone, it's Sparky. Today I want to show you the, uh, I've got a little diagram here of how and why to use a uh, EMT to MC connector. It was a request from one of the viewers and this here is a EMT to MC connector. So let's take a look at this and then we'll move into a video and that uh, I'll show you uh, another option to do if you don't have the EMT to uh, MC connector. So let's go ahead and get started here. Basically a lot of guys what they'll do is uh, go through and rough in all their walls first and a couple different options of what guys do and that I've seen is they'll mount their switch box on the stud, run a piece of half inch EMT up, mount another box and then they can bring their MC later on if they're tying into light fixtures or whatever the case may be. Um, that's good if you have multiple runs of MC going in there, home run, another EMT home run of uh, wire and stuff. It uh, serves that purpose. But if you just have one MC that you need to take down to your switch the, without having to make up a J box and mount that all up and above, you can use the EMT to MC connector. So really this is just a pretty simple little diagram showing you what it is and in this case here would be the half inch EMT going up and then you'll have your EMT to MC connector. There's several different things that you need to do with that um, in order to, to all the pieces and parts. So I'll put that at the end of the video, the, the pieces and parts and we'll uh, go ahead and move on over to that video right now. So see you in a second. Hello everyone, it's Sparky, and today I want to, uh, in this demonstration, somebody ask me what this little thing was for. And basically it's a MC to EMT connector, so I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Um, basically you're going to have your box, which is probably mounted up against a stud, and in this case I've got some 12-2 uh, uh, MC here got just a short piece of pipe just for the demonstration. Now my MC splitter, your anti-short bushing, a couple EMT connectors set screw, and uh, a screw in MC connector. So what we're going to want to do first off is get some of this stuff out of the way. So what I'll do is I'll start off by assembling the box, EMT connectors, and the um, uh, EMT to MC connector. Now this piece I just cut off with uh, with my hacksaw. I'm using a, a reamer here. I just run it around there a couple times to knock off the burrs. And clean, and then we'll grab a set screw EMT connector and we'll put it in a hole. Yes, I'm using a used box for this demonstration. And what we'll do is insert the EMT in there, and in the bottom of this reamer here, it's got a little uh, uh, standard screwdriver in there, so you can just slip it over the end. And these go from half to uh, one inch on these reamers. I used to have the ones that uh, put on uh, a shaft of a screwdriver, but uh, I didn't really particularly like that. I like these a lot better, but that's just personal preference. So the next thing you'll do is slide on your um, EMT to MC connector. Now that we have that done, we are going to take the MC and figure out how long it needs to be. We want to leave, I like to leave about, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches out. Some people say 6, but that's just my personal preference. And then what I'll do is I'll just take a measurement right about here. And I've got that marked. And what I want to do is show you the EMT splitter, or the MC splitter here. You put that down in there and you just make sure that it fits in right. 
and then all you do is take it, spin it a couple times, you'll hear it snap. There's other ways to do this. Uh, this is a preferred method. I know a lot of contractors that um, if you don't have an MC splitter and you're using your dikes or hacksaw or something like that, uh, you know, that's pretty much um, a no-no to them. And you just take this sheathing here and we'll split that off. We'll take our anti-short bushing and there seems to be some discrepancy on whether this is code or not. I don't think that it is, but uh, they're sent out with uh, the roll of MC, so I'm assuming that the manufacturer uh, recommends it. And so is it a UL listed without this? I don't know. But uh, I use them, and I tell everybody else to use them. It's just a little bit of added protection. Some of the snap and MC connectors have their own uh, inserts there, but in this particular case, this is what we're dealing with, okay? Now what we'll do is we will slide this down, loosen up all those screws, and slide this down into our box. Stick it in there and grab our screwdriver. It's my new 10 in 1 screwdriver, man. I love these things. They're just so much easier to carry these around. You got standard, Phillips, you got your number one Phillips and smaller standard there. That's a nut driver, uh, 5 16 it looks like. Uh, we'll go ahead and tighten this up. You don't want to get it too tight as to crimp and pinch the MC. Go ahead and tighten that up. Kind of go like that a little bit. So basically that's all there is and that's the purpose of this EMT to MC connector. Various different reasons and uh, I think I explained that in my uh, my photo before we started the, the actual video and stuff. But anyway um, that's basically it and the it's, it's just a, a faster way than mounting a whole new J-Box up here. You don't have a cover, you don't have another ground screw, you don't have more connections and everything else. This pipe could be 10 feet long, it could be 5 feet long, whatever your application is. But uh, that's what that does. So, let's take a look at an alternative to these fittings. Um, if you don't have access to these or order them or anything else there's another way that you can do this and what we'll do is take another EMT connector and then we'll take a half inch GRC coupling thread that onto the connector and we're not going to tighten it down yet and I'll show you why in just a second depending on where you're at in your, your application. What you'll do is just take off the uh, lock nut off uh, this style MC connector. Loosen those up a little bit. I know a lot of people use drills on these. I don't recommend it mainly because when you go to tighten these down you can crimp these wires so bad that they'll end up short inside the, the wire. Even with an anti-short, I've seen them where they, they trip out. But just slide the MC connector over. Don't forget your anti-short. Notice how I turn the split the opposite direction. At least that's how I was taught. You guys might do it different. And then we'll slide that up and we'll go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. We'll see here in a minute why I didn't tighten up that EMT connector. I have that 
secured. Right there, nice and secure. You can see the little, you can see the little anti short in there. Some inspectors look for that. At this point, that's still not tight, but I'll pull that through. And here's the reason why I don't do it: is rather than turning the MC and trying to spin the connector around and stuff like that. I mean, you could do it, but this is just the way that I do it. And take this, and then now you can turn this and tighten that up, good and snug. Now you can take your screwdriver or your reamer and tighten that up and there you have it so that's the two different types of uh, MC to EMT connections for various reasons um, you know mainly not having to make up another boxes and uh, blank plates and all that stuff so hope this helped you out guys and uh, everybody have a great day and I'll talk to you later